the Holy Spirit showed me a circle of light surrounding you in a vision. Hello, warrior. It's Bella Bashan here. Welcome back. This is a word that honestly, a little bit I feel uncomfortable in my spirit exposing this because it's not the most positive topic, but it is positive that God has shown me that there's a circle of light surrounding you or a ring of fire from the Holy Spirit surrounding you and protecting your home and yourself and your family. But before we get started, let me just take in a moment to pray that the Holy Spirit would lead this word, the Holy Spirit would guide this word and speak through me in Jesus' mighty name. I pray that there would be a fresh oil and anointing on this word, that this word would confirm something for you in your spirit, that this word would encourage you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. What the Holy Spirit has been exposing to me over... I don't know, honestly, it's been some time now, but I kind of always prefer to speak as much positivity as I can, but I know that this is going to be a confirmation for many of you watching this. Some of you, you haven't been feeling good is what the Holy Spirit was basically placing in my spirit, and the reason why is because you've had a bit of a spiritual attack launched on you. This could be... um Basically, psychic attack, witchcraft, or even just spiritual warfare. And it's because you have a group of people who is basically envious of you or, you know, envious, jealous. And it's so odd that a lot of the times these people are sometimes people that have more than have more than what you perceive yourself as even having and so a lot of the times people are jealous because they perceive you as having something that they don't have but the Holy Spirit showed me this in so many different ways um, actually over the past couple months this has been going on and the Holy Spirit has been revealing people to me through dreams um, and also through through scripture through so many different ways and one of the scriptures that confirmed this for me this morning as well as a dream that I had last night which I had this dream last night where I was actually sitting and talking with a friend from high school somebody who I haven't who's not even in my like realm of thought who I don't even really think of daily and so I do feel like this is exposing people who you don't even really realize who are watching you or focused on you in some type of way but in this dream this um ex-friend of mine who actually I, I I'm not friends with this person anymore and stopped being friends with this person because this person was somebody who had betrayed me and so but this person in my dream was actually telling me last night in my dream that they were jealous of something that was going on in my life and I was trying to explain to this person that they could have this thing too and so I feel like for many of you 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 want everybody to excel you want people to be fulfilled and happy and you are an example that people can have whatever it is that you're having for some of you this envy is coming because other people you are well liked for some of you this is because you have a following on some type of social media platform that is is growing maybe in a way that other people perceive as fast or more than theirs even if you don't perceive it as that and then also I had another dream probably about maybe about two to three weeks ago and in this dream there was it was like we were at um, it was kind of like a fair like a carnival type of vibe and you know when you're at um, one of those fairs or carnivals they have all those different games. I was with some other female who I didn't really recognize in my dream as somebody I know in my daily daily life. So this could again represent somebody who has their eye on you 
who you may not really even um, know this person in real life, but this person, we started playing, it was one of these like shooting laser games where you aim the gun and you try and shoot something. And this person, um, when as soon as we started playing this game, this person, she started like cheating really bad and she turned her gun and started aiming on my on all my targets and so she was extremely competitive and basically went from her lane and came into my lane and was basically cheating and I got in my dream I was just like what the heck like what are you what are you even doing I was like feeling frustrated I was like why is this person so competitive and so there's this sense of competition and envy this spiritual um, the spirit of envy and competition in the air and so when I looked up about the the symbolism of this shooting game and these guns it represented a form of power and control so I feel like whoever this person is in your life it can be somebody who desires to have some sort of power and control over you and your destiny so maybe this is a narcissist of some type or maybe regardless of you if you know this person or not there seems to be you know a sense of competitiveness and a sense of somebody wanting to have power and control over whatever it is that you're doing so the holy spirit wants to confirm for you that you may have if you are a very sensitive person which many of you many of god's kingdom people are very um, sensitive in your spirit especially if you have spiritual gifts which that is one of the harder parts of having spiritual gifts is that you do pick up and perceive on um, not only um, beautiful things but also you pick up and perceive on the darker negative things and so that can be uncomfortable. Some of you may have been experiencing a, this again as psychic attack where people are launching negativity towards you through words or thoughts. And again, I feel like this is a, like kind of a mob of people. This is kind of a large group of people that you don't even really, you're not really even suspecting. In the Bible, that is oftentimes how it went down. David was not really suspecting Saul of being so envious of him. And Saul tend to have, um, was already in a position of authority and had much more than him. The two brothers, Cain and Abel, there was not really any reason why um, the brother should have been so envious of his brother. And, and he actually, you know, ended up taking out his brother even um, Jezebel was very envious and um, tried to take from people who had less than her. And so there's not really a significant reason why these people who are in higher authority or may even have more than you are projecting so much negativity on you other than that the devil himself, Satan, was a very envious greedy angel fallen angel and that is how that is the spirit that these people are operating under is just this spirit of greed and jealousy and so this is a scripture that I was led to from Acts 17 verse 5 it says but the Jews which believed not moved with envy they took unto them certain lewd fellows of the Bazar sort and gathered a company and set all the city on an uproar and assaulted the house of Jason and sought to bring them out to the people. And so the Jews were very jealous of, of Jason because in this story in Acts, he had started to grow a large following and was his message was being very well received and he was helping a lot of people become believers of Jesus Christ and so the Jews which were considered religious people um, became very jealous and they moved with envy and they gathered they gathered a group of people and they set to set to bring an uproar 
into the town and also to destroy his house and so also a house can be um symbolic of you know your physical being and so this is where i feel like that this is kind of um a large group gathered against you maybe this is people from wherever your your workplace this could be people in your family this could be people that you don't even think of anymore um but this is people who are gathered together to that want to destroy something that you're working on out of envy but again like i said in the beginning of the video the holy spirit showed me in a vision i saw a circle of light surrounding you and so god wants you to keep going and know you're protected i also was um led to this scripture this morning um uh, right away from it's acts 18 verse verse 9 and it says then spake the lord to paul in the night by a vision and he said be not afraid but speak and hold not thy peace for i am with thee and no man shall set on thee to hurt thee for i have much people in this city and so god sees the spiritual attack launched on you god sees what you are going through and god says fear not i have a circle of light protecting you what you're doing is making a big difference for the kingdom of god however it is that you're doing it whether you are speaking Maybe some of you just speak words of peace wherever you're at. Maybe some of you just have a uh, kind of a peaceful demeanor about you that's very Christ-like. Whatever it is that you're operating, God says, fear not, continue to speak. Like me, I felt uncomfortable exposing this, this envy that I was picking up on, this mob of jealousy and, and hate, but God... God said speak and to share it out and to fear not that he is with us and he is protecting us. So I hope this word confirmed something in your spirit. There is a circle of light protecting you. And before we end this video, let me just say a prayer that we just thank you so much, Heavenly Father, for your divine protection. Thank you for this ring of fire, this light around us that's protecting us from every attack in Jesus' mighty name. We just pray Psalms 91 protection over everyone who's watching this and we just lift them up with courage and bravery to continue to speak and to continue to be a conduit of God's love and light in this world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. You are making a big difference for the kingdom of Christ and God wants you to continue shining on, sparkle on. I love you. Give this a thumbs up if it resonated. Subscribe to see more videos and I'll talk to you again later. God bless you.